That's funny. I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing the last time I made a video like this. But no matter. This is going to be a hopefully quick, short, sweet, to the point response, I guess you could really call it, to all of the... I can only imagine that they're Microsoft shills that are somehow being paid to say this. With regards to the Windows 7 end of support that has passed, and how all of a sudden now everybody that's running Windows 7 is insecure. You're gonna get hacked. Your data is gonna be leaked all over the internet. You're a bad person. And how all of that is a bunch of, well, balderdash. Now, I'm not gonna be that guy who is going to tell you 100% with certainty that you are not gonna get hacked if you're using Windows 7. Because you don't know. This is not something that you can just say definitively one way or the other, it's not gonna happen. But here is why I think that it is not very likely to happen. I would like to remind you and point you back in the direction of Windows XP. Yes, that old friend that has been dead and stale and gone since 2014. Or is it really gone? Well, the answer might actually kind of surprise you. If we go ahead and take a look, I've got some hard and fast numbers that I can give you right now. As of January of 2020, so that was two days ago as of the making of this video, or 33 days ago, depending upon when this data was actually input, if this was as of January 1st or as of January 31st, not the point. The point is that the four biggest operating systems on the market are predictable. Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and some version of Mac OS 10.14. I don't think that's the latest version. But I don't know. I haven't been following Mac OS development. So maybe it's close to the latest version? I think there's a 10.15 on this list. Maybe I should research that and let you know in the description or something. But anyway, those are the top four. Nothing too out of the ordinary here, but what might surprise you is that of the machines, and these are machines that are connected to the internet, that is how they're gathering this data. Systems connected to the internet. Windows XP has a total of 1.96% of the market share. More than 1%, almost 2%. That's a lot of people. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, maybe not so much, especially when you compare it to the behemoth that is Windows 10 at 48.96%. But it's not insignificant either. It is in the top five, I think. Yeah, top five, just below Windows 8.1. Which, by the way, has 3.95. So, not in any danger of being overtaken by Windows XP anytime soon. But we're talking it's still in the top five. And to even drive the point home a little further, Linux, as a whole, all of it, has a mere 1.36% of the OS market share on the internet. I'll let that sink in there for a minute. But these are numbers. These are pretty much meaningless. Unless you attach some something to this. And the reason why I really think that the same deal as what happened with Windows XP is going to happen with Windows 7 again. Is if we look at those 1.96%, at a worst case, I am going to make the assertion that 1.9%, again, worst case, 1.96%, sorry, worst case 1.9% of that 1.96. I think it's probably more around 1.95, maybe even the whole 1.96. But worst case 1.9% of these people are the people that are using it willingly, they are willing to take the risk, they know what they're doing, which could have many different meanings, it's very subjective, but they know what they're doing, and they keep on top of things. These are people that want to run Windows XP for one reason or another. Again, the reasoning is way beyond the scope of this video, but they want to run it. And another reason why I think this is going to happen is because Windows 10 was free. They made it free. 
like it or not, we all remember the GWX, a lot of people called it malware, but the Get Windows 10 stuff that they threw in our faces, it's free, download it now, it'll make everything so much better. Despite that, there is still 32, more than 32% of people running Windows 7, just below Windows 10. These are the two big behemoths. Now that number is going to drop significantly when the next data set comes out. Because you will have the people who realize that, oh crap, you know, probably shouldn't be running this because it's out of support now, and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to upgrade. You've got these people. They understand that they need to move on. So that number will go down. But I'm going to say that around 25%, again, worst case, 25%, of the people running Windows 7 right now. These are the people that are in the same boat as the 1.9% worst case that are running Windows XP right now. They want to run Windows 7 for one reason or another. Again, who cares? You aren't going to change these people's minds by telling them that Windows 7 is out of support. They don't give a damn. This is something they want to use. They don't like Windows 10. It's pretty obvious, you know, if they wanted Windows 10, they would have got it already. When it was free, like four years ago. But they didn't. And that's the important thing that I think all of these Microsoft shills are forgetting all about. Trying to replace Windows 7 with Windows 10 is like going into a supermarket, looking for Macintosh apples, not finding any, going to the shelf stock guy, asking, hey, do you have any Macintosh apples? Oh, gee, they're not in season right now. I mean, you've still got a couple of other kinds of apples there. I mean, you got Golden Delicious, Granny Smith. Red Delicious, whatever, is sitting there. But no, 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 no. Here's an orange instead. Right? Or am I really wrong? I must be pretty wrong, because apparently everybody's going ape shit over all of this Windows 10 nonsense. Windows 7, out of support, whatever. No. No, Windows 10 is not a replacement for Windows 7. Whether you want it to be or not, it's not the answer. I'm going to make the argument Windows 8.1 is, but again, that's neither here nor there. The bottom line of this video, and what I'm trying to tell you, is that you shouldn't buy in to the media's scare tactics. This is a common thing. Look at the Chinese coronavirus thing that's going around right now. Look at all the news articles. There is fear-mongering everywhere. Now, I'm not saying that these two incidents are anywhere the same. I mean, you kind of got to worry about this new virus, because it's kind of a big deal. It's not really the same thing at all. But again, I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to get on my case about making that comparison. No, I'm talking about the scare tactics. The people that tell you, you are going to die if you get this. No, that's not a thing. You can't just jump to that conclusion. Likewise, you can't just jump to the conclusion that all of a sudden, because Windows 7 is out of support, there are going to be a million hacks that are going to target these Windows 7 folks and steal all their data, their credit cards, their passwords, their money, whatever. It's not going to happen, because frankly, if it was going to happen, it would already have happened. It's the same deal with Windows XP. There are exactly zero targeted attacks for Windows XP. It's not a thing, because they don't care. They could look at this chart and they could say, well, we could go after the 32.37% or we could go after the 4896 What do you think they're going to do? Because they're not the same deal. It's a different kernel. Mostly. But it's still different enough that the hacks are not the same. People seem to lose sight of this. So the bottom line, I guess, of this video... I'm not going to be wrong on the internet and tell you you're not going to get hacked, but I'm also not going to force you and scare you 
into upgrading to something you don't want. Because it's just not true. Like I said, if these attacks were going to be a thing, they would already be a thing right now. And they're not. OMG. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope that it was at least somewhat informative to somebody. If you've got any comments, please feel free. Have your discussion down below. Somehow I think there's going to be quite a bit of it. Because every time I upload something controversial like this, there always is. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.